Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some cool stuff happening with today's Digibyte update following on from what I was talking about yesterday. So, what we have here is an initial test fix submission. Now this, I mean, let's be honest, it sounds boring as hell, but this is really exciting specifically because of what it represents. So what this represents is a change in the way that we're looking at doing things with Digibyte in terms of upholding a more higher standard, not just in terms of the code that is committed, but specifically the way that it is reviewed by other people and the entire process around this, which is really cool here. So don't get me wrong, this is fantastic that some of the internal uh, unit tests are actually being fixed up, made to work, so that it will, again, be more professional overall. But this in and of itself is specifically more of a, I suppose, a representation of what we can expect in the future here. So this one's really cool. We can see here from Barry, this pull request fixes some unit tests. And you can see down here, it basically says at least two approving reviews are required by reviewers and it can't be merged in. So what I'll do is if I bring this up here, this is actually all that's been committed and so it's it's literally just these two different changes here but the best part is is that alongside this Barry has specifically said what it is that's being changed why it's being changed and we've got that that nice documented history there so in and of itself this is a relatively small change but obviously these kinds of changes can have a larger impact now this here is just part of the tests so there's nothing going on with the consensus of the blockchain and things like that, but this will correct those tests so that they pass as they should. Again, though, going back to this, so what we can do is this will be tested by a number of people, two or more, uh, in keeping with the Git flow workflow that we talked about yesterday. You can also read a little bit more about this and about the collaboration process here. GitHub have done some really cool documentation on it and it's really awesome to see. But so basically what would happen is someone will come along and they'll go add a review and they'll have a look at it. Yep, cool, these are all of the, the changes. You will put in a comment here and go, yeah, looks good to me. So you'd say ACK for acknowledge, uh, looks good to me. Um, or you could say acknowledged but needs refining. You can comment, you can approve it, that kind of thing, and other people from the community as well can come and do similarly. But this is where it gets really interesting because if we go back here, what anybody can do is they can come along to this pull request and they could say, let's say for example we're talking about a performance improvement. What you can do is you can come along and you can leave your feedback and this is why this is so important, this overarching collaborative process because you can come along and say, I like this, it's made a huge performance change on my PC, it used to take 20 minutes but now takes 45 to start up. And so you can leave those kinds of comments there yourself and you can put them in and you can be part of this process even if you yourself are not a developer. And this is one of the things that we're looking to get a lot more feedback on, especially as we start looking at some of the overarching things such as algorithm replacements, which ones should be replaced, what kind of a direction we want to head in with the overall project, other UI element changes, all of that kind of really good stuff. So again, this in and of itself, although a relatively small commit, is really indicative of that entire process that I was talking about, which is one of the things that we've been basically nutting out over the past couple of months and working on, which again is why the, the Digibyte updates have been fewer and further between. So I hope you can see why I'm excited about this, even though it is kind of monotonous in that sort of sense, but it is going to allow for that participation and that input from the broader community, which I think is really quite important. So again, uh, GitHub themselves have got a whole lot of information about this. I'll include some links to it down below, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm excited. I really am. And I think this is a big, big step forward for Digibyte to really cement our place going into the future with the project. Following up as well, uh, I know I'd, I'd mentioned, so yesterday's video was actually recorded the day prior, but we, we talked about the .io top level domain. Now, some people have already reached out to me, some people have already been taking initiative and making plans for what can be done with a replacement domain and things. The .io domain is not going away, don't worry about that, that's totally cool, it's not about to up and disappear or anything along those lines, but 
it's been super, super exciting for me to see the feedback from the community and how on board everybody's actually been with such a change. Again, I know this isn't a really like a big change or anything there, but I think it's important to take that kind of a moral stance and show that support and show that we specifically don't condone what's been happening with the .io uh, domains in general. So uh, people have been looking at a couple of things like .com, .org and that sort of thing. So yeah, pretty exciting there. And I want to thank the people who've already been involved with trying to spearhead that kind of initiative. We don't have anything concrete yet, but I'm looking forward to keeping you up to date. So stay tuned, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because that's going to be all for today. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know when we find out more. Until then, stay safe, and I'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow. Cheers.